Hello, this is News Review. My name is Lemin Jai. Coming up on the show, Gambia Action Party holds National Congress where delegates put a new set of leaders in place. Also, PDIS also held a Congress where Khalifa Saleh has been chosen as presidential candidate. Bookshops experience not so good moments as COVID-19 shows no sign of leaving soon. Gambia Action Party leader Musa Yali Bachili will be joining me today to speak to me uh, regarding their Congress held on Sunday. These are more coming up, but first we will look at what the newspapers are reporting on today. Uh, we'll quickly go through them, uh, actually. So we'll see uh, what uh, the standard is reporting on today. They are reporting on the, the decision there by the Minister of Health to impose a fee on anybody who is planning to travel. Now you'll have to pay $3,000 for you to be able to get COVID-19 test and certification. That's their lead story. There also, Jami victims tell TRRC to recommend APRC's banning. Uh, Economic says Bajagar shooting has nothing to do with its forces. Uh, row over new allowances for doctors, PhD holders. Also, political parties have no power to decide feature of rejected constitution. That's according to Oliver Saladia. Yankuba Dabo, Dabo's sedition trial set for today. NHRC, that's the National Human Rights Commission, calls for greater representation of women in uh, leadership. Let's quickly go through the stories then. As the country prepares uh, for the national launch of the COVID-19 vaccines tomorrow, the Minister of Health has announced that with effective or effect from 11th March 2021, every intending traveler requiring a COVID-19 test certificate must pay $3,000, splashing the cash on your travels there. Also, Jame victims tell TRRC to recommend APRC's banning. Chairperson of the Gambia Center of victims of human rights violation has renewed his criticism of the APRC. I appeal to the TRRC to include the banning of the APRC in their recommendations. That's according to Sheriff Kijera, the chairperson of the Victim Center there. Ecomic says Bajagar shooting has nothing to do with its forces. The Ecomic spokesman, Commander Andy La Anyan, has told the the standard that the reported shooting in Fonyi Bajagar has nothing to do with, with the West African troops stationed in the country. Row over new allowances for doctors, PhD holders, the Association of Public and Environmental Health Officers, in collaboration with the National Pharmacy Staff Association, have petitioned the Secretary General and Head of the Civil Service to immediately suspend the recent increment of allowances to doctors and PhD holders serving in the Ministry of Health. Political parties have no power to decide the future of the rejected constitution. PDI Secretary General Khalifa Saleh has said political powers, parties sorry, have no power whatsoever to decide the future of the rejected draft constitution. Yanguba Dabos, uh, that's the three years general official there, his sedition trial set for today. The sedition trial of lawyer Yanguba Dabo, a pro political activist and leading member of the Ban Three Years General Group, will be heard in a magistrate court in Banjul today. NHRC calls for greater representation of women in leadership. National Human Rights Commission has called for greater participation of, of women in leadership position as the commission joins the rest of the world in commemorating International Women's Day, which is celebrated uh, every March 8th. So, Leah, let's see what the Point newspaper is returning, uh, reporting. Tufa calls on TRRC to investigate killings of Mariama Kamara orders. Also, uh, Usman Sonko released on bail. That's the top of the only leader there in Senegal. He has been released on bail amid protests, really, that has rocked or gripped uh, Senegal. There, Jerry Boss commands respect for hierarchy, let's show tribalism and politics of insult. That's according to Hamad Badia during his Congress. The Tour Foundation on the 8th of March uh, 2021, in recognition of the World Women's Day, released a 25 minute documentary video titled Who Do You Think? You are. That's the lead story on the... So also, the uh, point is reporting that the executive director of the TRRC yesterday revealed that his house has been ransacked by an intruder. That's Dr. Baogale Jala there of the Truth Commission. Yes, uh, that will be that for the news for us. Stay, stay with us as we take a short break and return.
Welcome back. Fidia has held a congress where top politician Halifa Sala got picked as flag bearer of Dai in the lead up to the December election there. Saja Brito covered that marathon congress on Sunday and she came through with this report. <laughs> The Secretary General and Party Leader of DOI, Halifa Sala, told delegates during his party's Congress on Sunday that it is time the Gambian people open their eyes to the reality of this country and take charge of their affairs. Honorable Sala said ordinary Gambians have been made to believe that they are least important whilst they continue to view their politicians as superiors. The veteran politician said it is time for the narrative to change as Gambians need to understand that power in fact resides in the people as opposed to what they are forced to believe. Bakan ci Gambia, bakan ini up, dui pasai jurum yar fukat. Nyubari damne, nyubari yang kecil. Tenyun mi tam jombu nyuko, wande raga lu nyuko. Nak kamne nyusun fijoge, di nanya kamne. Be <laughs> Et dans le Côte d'Ivoire, nous sommes tous les deux. Nous sommes tous les deux. Si on a dit que je n'ai pas de mal, 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 je n'ai pas de mal. Je n'ai pas de mal, 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 je n'ai pas de mal. Operasi ni lenda isa. Ah, you pati leku ko. Bagian macam G tu rek, mana don nyuci ya. The idea that people do not have a voice, power, or that they are nothing in society is what Toy, as a party, is out to dialogue and educate Gambians about, because the people are in fact everything. Reiterating the theme for this year's Congress, eradicate ignorance and poverty, Salah said the status quo will continue being the same until and unless ignorance and poverty are ready to be fought. The PDOIS frontman also said he takes pride in how his party has not become a tool for anyone, alleging that many political parties in this country take millions from individuals with strings attached, hoping to pay them back once they assume office. A party will emerge today, have a number of seats in the National Assembly. This, they was here for 30 something years. What are they here for? And they could have accepted to be a tool. Look at the t shirts. People voluntarily, voluntarily, gave what they could to ensure 
that everything that we have today is given without any string attached. But you will see parties going to an individual who will give millions with string attached. Governments will do that. Individuals will do that. So that ultimately, when you take over power, you'll owe obligation. <laughs> Doi refused to do that, and you are blaming Doi. But today, that refusal is yielding fruit. Today, that refusal is yielding fruit. That they will not owe any obligation to anyone on the face of the earth. Khalifa Saleh forded that the only people his party owes an obligation is the Gambian people who will entrust the party with power, adding that his party will continue defending the interest of the Gambian people to the grave. Honorable Saleh also shared the role his political party played in the 2016 elections debacle and how he came up with tactics and strategies to ensure a peaceful transfer of power. They participated in effecting the change, in stabilizing the nation, in order to ensure a peaceful transfer of power. <laughs> That is the history of this party. Don't join the party by the number of seats in the National Assembly. Don't join the party by the percentages. That does not define they, it defines you, not us. It defines you, not us. Because for us, we know our national duty and we are ready to sacrifice our lives for the sake of our people and country. <laughs> and we do so without any expectation, no obligation from the people. You hate us, we will serve you. You love us, we will serve you. Saji Brito reporting. Meet Sarah and Tracy from the top eight finalists of the Beer Star Sierra Leone. Their lives changed from day one. New original songs. Be famous and successful. Be a star in the game. In the biggest stage right now in Sierra Leone. Being a part of Beer Star is going a step further in chasing my dreams and my career as an artist. All you have to do is record a video of you singing your favorite song, not more than two minutes long. Send the video by WhatsApp to the following number, 229994, using an Africal number. State your name and where you're from. Be a winner of a fully recorded album and five hundred thousand dollars. Africa will be a star. Your road to success. Welcome back. So, Gambia Action Party also on Sunday held a national congress where delegates elected into office a new set of leaders. The congress was held at the Coral Beach Hotel, formerly known as Sheraton Hotel. Uh, more in this report there. <laughs> A sense of nationalism swept through the hall as the national anthem got played. This was GAP's most important political event since its formation just a little over two years ago. Party officials are impressed by how far they have gone and what they have achieved. The Gambia Action Party financed a borehole project for the people of Brufut Nema and built a, and, and built a block of classrooms for the school in the same community. The Gambia Action Party also donated food items to Brikama Market Fire Outbreak victims, as well as goodwill um, guest store for the business community in the country. Fellow Gambians, 
The Gambia Action Party's agenda on sports development is remarkable. As a government, Gambia will work towards strengthening the sports in the country. Musa Hussein Yali Bachili is central to the formation of Gambia Action Party. The party was set up shortly after the politician left Gambia Democratic Congress. Bachili has since been the leader of Gambia Action Party. No matter your political leanings, no matter your political leanings, please, I want to put an emphasis on this. Finally, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, no matter your political leanings, please, let us work towards the ensuring that this dream of true democracy, development again, and transparency, as well as accountability, becomes a reality in the Gambia. Your presence here today demonstrated that our difference in political ideologies is a manifestation that our peaceful coexistence is reality. In his nearly 8,000-word speech, Bachili laid out a GAP government's plan for the country, which cuts across all sectors of the Gambian economy. One issue that he is vowed to address is the issue of deportation. A gap led government will revoke all the malicious and exploitative deals signed by some of the corporate thieves for selfless service for the Gambia. Our government will be responsive, people-centric, and devoted government to the service of the people and shall ensure our bilateral and multilateral relationship with the nation of the world exclude this horrible action. We urge the government of Gambia to respect hu human dignity and revisit the treaties. And to the deportees and those on the pipeline, your rights will be protected by voting for GAP in December 4, 2021. Every political party relies on something called a manifesto. This is what spells out a party's agenda as well as its plans and policies for a nation. GAP delegates were taken through the party's manifesto. Hundreds of delegates attended the Congress who unanimously agreed to the election of the party's leaders, including Bachili. <laughs> Global presents the new Tulip Gardens. Tough Tulip Gardens is set to comprise service plots in sizes ranging from 220 to 570 meters square. Deposit as low as $83,600 only. An 18 month interest free payment plan with only 20% deposit on the service plots. Please contact 376 2333 or 776 2333. Thank you and welcome back. Now I'm joined by the Honorable uh, Musa Usainu Yali Bachili. His party, Gami Action Party, uh, held a congress on Sunday where he was returned to his role as Secretary General and leader of the uh, party uh, there. That was an impressive congress. I, I covered it. And he will summarize things for us, really, because he read a nearly 8,000-word speech there, powerful speech. That was a long, long speech, a, a marathon, if you like, uh, more than one and a half hours you were talking. I mean, if you look at your, your speech at the Congress, um, I mean, you laid out the plan that your a GAP government has for this country. But also, you also wind or you complained, if you like, that the country for half a century we have struggled in terms of, uh, you know, a turn around the, could be the fortunes of this country, development-wise. When you look at your Congress and what you have seen, what can you tell us in terms of GAP and the future, whether GAP really would be able to achieve its objective of ruling this country? Um, I'll start with my profound greetings with His Excellency um, President Adam Abaru and his cabinet. Um, I extend profound greetings to the IC Chairman Mamanja, Uncle Mamanja, and his cabinet too, Minister of Interior and Minister of Justice. Yes. I'm extending my beautiful greetings and prayers to those who are sick in the hospital and those who are actually prisoners. May Allah grant a victory. I'm greeting my, my, my colleagues, political ladies and executive members. Yes. I'm greeting um, the imams and the pastors from Khartoum to Lebanon. And I'm greeting myself with my executive members. Mm -hmm. And I've, I have one of my allies, two, three allies that I want to extend my profile greeting. Uh, Abu Akar Fofana, known as the ammunition dissolved of. 
uh, and um, one of my auntie that really cared for me and really supported me during this Congress is called Mama Amilet, the owner of Paradise Hotel. Yes. Uh, she's, she's, she's a kind, and I'm greeting you, and I'm greeting the whole entire Gambia in Gambia and outside Gambia. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Mr. Njai. No, no. <laughs> yeah, okay. Let's go ahead. <laughs> I asked you a question. Okay. I think I'll have to ask you, you again. Today, yeah. So the, the question is, how far has your party gone? Because it looks like you, 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 you have a big ambition. Your ambition is vast in terms of where you want to take this country. You held your Congress. Looking back, what have you seen in terms of your party's chances in ruling this country? We, the chances is 99.9%. You see, I believe we, we have a trust in Allah. The heart belongs to Allah, Mr. Jai. There is no big parties. There is a long time existing parties. Yes, 35 years old, 24 years old, you know, from 1970 up to now. Yes, I do respect. But big parties, no. Because somebody can register today yes. and win the election in next month, yes. in next nine, nine months. Yes. So for me, it's about your commitment and the love that you have for the country, your visions and your missions that you can express your party's manifesto to the nation, the masses, who, who's going to make you win? Not the elites, the suit and tie, the, pen, the people with the pen and paper. They don't care about us. They are the field that makes the state fail. So when, I, when we date our Congress, it is one of a kind. You, you cover it up, man. Delegates were happy. Attendants were happy. Media team were happy. Uh, we are read one hour, 30 minutes speech. I want to show the Gambians, do not, do not look at me. Look at the vision that I'm telling you. And you can learn out of it. The differences we have as a gap-led government. We don't want people, the masses, to worship us. Because they, they are the bosses. We are servants. They are giving us services to do. We're not looking for jobs. Yes, yes. We can do the services. Yes. This is the different bit. And then look at this gap. Our political party. Yes. We don't, it's a self-finance party. We don't take money from anyone on earth with a string attached. I'm not saying we are the only one, maybe a few, but we are sure gap. We will never allow any financial supporter to dictate us. Because these are some of the comments that Honorable Halifa Salah also made at their Congress on Sunday. Oh, he did? Where he said that okay. there are political parties in this country who go to individuals, give them millions. With individuals with, give with, them millions? Millions, with strings, strings such as that. If you, is no, that is, so the, in the case of GAP2, that doesn't exist? That will never exist in GAP. Why? Because we are, this, the country doesn't belong to us. <laughs> so you cannot sell off the country? How can I sell the country? If you want to support... But people say, when you went to Nigeria, people say you went there to sell Gambia. Uh, but how Is that what you be, did to, to be in honest, Nigeria? But Mr. Mr. Njai, how can Bachile, especially me, flying from Abuja, from Banjul for Abuja, for what? They give us 400 euros. Each? Each! So we, we, we Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and we flew back. I give my 400 euros to someone. I don't want to mention name. I have witnesses that can confess. You know why? Mm -hmm. It's an insult. An incoming president, presidents, an incoming president mm -hmm. flying from Banyu to Abuja for a, a dialogue. Yes. You gave them only... They give for... us $20,000. That's some of, some of... I don't want to mention... Are you saying it's, that that it's is It's an small, insult. But that is small. No, it's not about money issue. It's an insult. How much do you think they should have given you? It's, no, no, we don't. Can we bring an incoming president from Nigeria to Banjul here. <laughs> I'm giving for them. They will just take that and slap you on the face. It's an insult. <laughs> so when I hear my fellow Gambians, I love them at heart, yeah. saying that we send it Gambia to them. To me, they, it's like a, a political statement. They have all the constitutional right to talk. But when you talk, it, remember, as a Muslim, yeah. as even non-Muslim, you are recorded. Don't utter words which your man Khiyama, day of judgment, you'll be questioned or yes. you'll be accounted for. To me, it's like people now, they have the democracy. In me, I don't believe in democracy. Yes. You know why I don't believe in democracy? Mm -hmm. We have to believe our own democracy. No, when you no, say no, that, listen, that listen. will take me. No, 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 I will no. link my that. Brother, my brother, uh, let, me, let me tell you. Okay, go on. You see, on, I, on, I'm talking on. with wisdom here. Of course, of course. When I say democracy, Africa, do we know democracy? If you want to be independent, 
you have to believe in your own culture, yes. your own operandi, operandi, modes of operandi. In, back in the days, 400, 500 years, mm -hmm. our leaders were here. King Mansa Musa, Mansa Musa, uh, Mansa Musa, the richest man. Uh, you have some, so warriors. So warriors, uh, African warriors, they used to have their own way of methods of ruling their countries. So this is an important rule of law coming to us. I do respect it because there's no way, because they already surrounded us. The colonial masters, they, they locked us. Now it is us to cut the lock and bring our own way of living. In 1970, if family members have dispute, dear you take the police? No. They will sit with the family issue and control it. Mm -hmm. So to me, we are, we are, we, this should not just come and open. This is an insult. Gambian saying to Gambian, we, we, we went to Nigeria to sell our country. My brother, that's an insult, man. Now, in your, in your, you, you, you talked about democracy there. You yeah, said, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, but then let me refer to your, <laughs> your speech, what you said in your speech and yeah, see well, how consistent you are. Uh, because in your... How inconsistent or consistent? How, how, how consistent I'm you always are. consistent. You're always consistent. Okay, yeah. okay, great. You said, for genuine democracy to be cultured in the Gambia, accelerative measures for socioeconomic development gains must not be overlooked in order to achieve quality life at all all life, all the people. Since inception, the Gambia Action Party is committed to upholding democratic principles, rule of law, and protection of the fundamental human rights and values as we believe in sailing through a journey towards building a collective dream, nurture the Gambian hopes and guarantee the liberties of men and women as the fundamental pillar of our development-driven agendas. Now you are saying we don't know democracy. But here you are talking about democracy and you t all the and all the goods that democracy come with. So, Mr. Yeah, to, what's democracy? To, let me, let what's, what's really democracy? No, I'm, I'm the one ask, asking questions. Oh, can, you, can, you, can you, I bring? Can okay, I define okay, democracy? Go, yes, go, go. On. You see, this this is this is um, colonial master's word. But this is your speech. But, can you listen to me? Okay, go on. Oh, go don't on. cut me off. Go on, go on, go on. Yes, we are in a a 21st century yes. system. And our man-made law, it's not a Sharia law, our man-made law book yes. was given to us by our colonial masters. They're having the colonial system, the British. They're using their own democracy for us to believe in that democracy. If I can alter that democracy, I will do it. I will change the gameplay and bring our own African democracy. Why do you think that you cannot change it now you are tagging by, tagging along, if you like. I don't tag along. I'm not a follower, man. I'm a servant. <laughs> I don't follow. <laughs> but clearly, that is to, what you are doing To here. me, clearly, I'm not doing that. Don't get me wrong. This is a statement that I write, that we wrote. So oh, do you I, believe in it? I, I, I believe the <laughs> fundamental of it. Not the fundamental way of the Western way. Yes. But I believe the fundamental of the African democracy. The African democracy. But that's not what is here. Uh, but my brother, that's the same. Unity. Remember when the families used to have a dis dispute? Yes. Look at their democracy. Mm -hmm. Even their fathers and the mothers, when they get old, yes. they kick them out from the house. Yes. Do you call democracy? When, when they were young, their mothers took care of them. Yes. They never took them to, to child support center. We Africans, your mom can be live 100 years, you would never take it to her old care age. True. Let's forget about the fundamental. The man yes. bringing yes. my own way. Yes. You see, when you, statements are statements. Yes. In reality, mm -hmm. We should not follow no one. We should follow our own concept. Mm -hmm. Yes. You understand? Yes. Back in the days, when I all uh, my father travel, when my father travels, whatever he earns before independence, mm -hmm. and after it, whatever he until his father die, he has to bring on the table. He said, Baba, Allah bless me, one dollar see is here. The father will say, Okay, take twenty five cents, take fifty butu, give it to this one, give it to this one, I take this, you take the rest. Can we do that now? We are no longer. And then that's the best democracy. That's the best democracy. You see, unity is the best democracy. Now, this democracy has given us so much power, we are start insulting each other. You, women rights. 1,400 years ago, the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi has given more rights to women than even none. Than even so-called democracy. Yes. 400 years ago, they used to abuse women, remember? Yes. And 1,400 years, women were protected. Mr. Jai, this is a, it's a global war. So in the global system, we have to match with the But when we come to reality, that's when we use action. Let's implement reality. 
This is just a statement by the Western Democrats. Democrats, we have to use that to go. But for me, I just say it. The reality is we don't need Democrats. All we need an action oriented in a positive way that would benefit us. What does a Gulf government has for the agricultural sector? Wow, I love that, man. When we, when we empower, inshallah, 95% of whatever we're going to consume will be, will be cultivated in Gambia. How are you going to do that? We use a, a mechanization, agriculture mechanization. Yes. We will call our experts. They will come in. We have all the lands, arable lands, the, the furrow yes. of, 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 of how you call it, of, of yes. carton. Yes. The furrow of carton mm -hmm. can feed the whole west, the entire, the whole entire Greater Banjun, from Banjun to West Coast and the West Coast, the furrow of carton. Okay, the rice that we are consuming now, yes. the rice is the rice that we are eating now. Yes. My brother, ninety percent will cause diabetes. Yes, that's why we are sick. You see, a young man, a young man, age of 25, 30, is diabetic. Little kid diabetic because of the important rice that we are eating is all chemicals. Now, since in inception of our independence, the president, former president, Jawara, Jame, Baro, Kamo. It's a joke. A backbone of every nation is an agriculture. So you say, man, how you talk delay, delay, the content. Lekha, the food that we are eating are from Europeans, from Asia. We don't know how they, the, how they cultivate it. You understand? That's why we are getting sick. But you remember our great-great-grandfathers, our fathers and their grandfathers, they used to live up to 110 years and still breeding. We forgot our Finley, our maize, our dugup. Yes. Uh, our cherries. Yes. Uh, all we need to spend billions of dollars in there in a mechanization way, you understand, and that will enrich the whole entire nation. We could consume our food proper with no, uh, with no GMA food. We need organic food. We have plans. We will create a Gambia Agri Bank. All these too many banks will cut it off. I'm telling you, I want to speak my heart. I'm not here whether they vote me in and let them listen to my statements. The vision we have, they can land. Who's going to be next president? Allah knows. It could be on the gap. It, it could, could be, be you. It could be Bachelet. It could be you. It could be me. It could be somebody else. But we have. Unfortunately, I am not running. But you don't know. When Allah I'm wants you to running. run, when Allah wants you 11 hours, 59 minutes, <laughs> and 59 seconds, you transform. You come <laughs> under the ticket of gap. We move you in. When you talk about corruption, that is one thing that your government or a government government wants to look into. You are contemplating setting an anti-corruption commission or ACC. agency. ACC. Or AC. This is what you want to do. But in your statement at the Congress, what you said is that in the past and present administrations, more than 40%, that is staggering, really, more than 40% of the country's revenue was diverted for personal development that amounts to billions of the Billions of dollars. Yes. It's true, my brother. But how did you arrive at this? That is forty percent. If that they want, if they want to staggering. challenge, if they let them challenge. How did you attack? At, my brother, at, at, have, at, we have we have financial people who knows the finances game, who are concerned citizen, part of Gambia Gambia Action Party. They love Gambia. The they heart. gave you this. They gave me the statistic. I don't just just jump. Where are off. these people? Where do they work? They, they what do you mean they work? Where do they work? Some are in government. The, they, some are working in the government. Some are independent. They're businessmen. Some are international. They're Gambians who have eagle eyes on Gambia. They heard many politicians. You know, when somebody is telling do the they, truth, do they have proof to this, like my, documents to my show, my brother, statistics, my data, brother, raw data. My, my brother, my brother, show. Jawara, thirty years, per income capita. Let's call our, man, our finance. Jawara, prof, may Allah forgive you. May Allah grant you Jannah. His regime, imagine, for 30 solid years, 1965 to 1970, 70 Republic up to 1994. My brother, do you know how many riches we have in Gambia here? How many monies that they, they, they accumulate, accumulate um, that, they, that they receive? At the end of the day, which development? Jammeh, the only thing I respect is the sovereignty. So that no one can play with the resources. But how many billions Jamai, dollars is Jamai wasted? The most corrupted government, GAP, not NPP, it's not empty government, it's a coalition government. The most corrupted government in the history of Gambia is this coalition government. 
is the most corrupt. The most corrupted, not MPP. Don't get me wrong, MPP is not in the game yet. They are clearly in the game. No, this not. is a party that's registered under the president's name. The president has party leader, and the president is the government. Is that so? Is, is, MPP is, is government. Is, is, no, MPP is not in government. MPP is government. Why? They, if MPP is not in government. If MPP is in government, then the retroactive then should not be. Then he he has done his five years. He's not in the government. It's a coalition government. They have differences. Yes. They are corrupted. Yes. 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 They are corrupted. They are corrupted. Okay. Now, how do you pl intend to reverse this? I know what setting up a, a commission is one thing, but the actual implementation part is always a problem. How do you intend to reverse this? The issue of 40% of the country's revenue being diverted to personal development, going into personal pockets. How do you intend to when some of the ministers divide, when some of the ministers were hired to do the job from Jawara to do we have their records? Zura Khan, all for certain their houses all over. Same applied to Jamme. Jamme was yes. a man on show. Same applies to uh, President Barrow. Yes. So we know. Yes. We know. When the right time comes, when we empower, when we set our commission, our commission, when we set it, the whole world will know. You want to you want to you want the, an act of parliament, drastic measures. What are you talking about? What, what, what does that entail? The issue of drastic measures. What does that entail? That, it entail you know what that entails? It entails that there is no compromise when it comes to that. No, I'm saying the punitive measures. What are the measures that you are going to take? If, you are, if someone is charged or, 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 or guilty of corruption or corrupt activity, what are you going to do to that person? And then the, court, would they, the, the would, court will decide. When we when we investigate, what are and, you going to? And they prove that what are you going to push? No, we, 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 because we see in some countries they, they they kill execute people. No, no, we don't kill. We don't kill. We don't kill. In China, they kill that's people. That's China, but we don't kill. We will take all. The court will decide. Will you send do. them to Jayanamburi? That, that's for sure. There's no sadaqa on that. You send them there. Yeah, 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 for sure. There's no sadaqa on that. But kill no. That will happen. That will happen. This is, it's not, it's not, it's not Njai Kunda or Bachilu Kunda, mm. it's Gambia Kunda. That's, that's our resources. I mean, I mean, now let's also talk about one thing, important thing. You talked about the energy sector, NAVEC. You talked about that. But what you want to do is you want to remove these two, I mean, separate them. Two, two, yes, two, two entities. Entities. You know, you have the water side and the power side, the electricity side. You want them to be independent, stand, for them to stand alone with two managing directors. Why do you want to do it that way? What did you see in there's, that? There's, how how there's, efficient or effective that there, is? It is so efficient, you know why? How? When they separate the, in, when they separate, when we separate the water and the electricity, okay, there is a corporate gameplay there that they are controlling. You understand? Yes. To electrify the whole entire Gambia, it won't cost more than between five to nine million dollars. We can electrify the whole entire nation from the lowest remote from Khartoum to the very lowest of Wulibana. And payment will be digital. Yes. You know why? Because money is cash. If the more cash is received, there will be corruption there. Yes. Everything will be digital. All you do is just press your number and it will be one single account. One government single account. That will, that's what we want to separate. The thieves, the corporate corruption will be there. Water should be free. I'm not saying this for statement. We have. We have the best, best water in the whole entire West Africa. All we need to dig a proper borehole in all the regions, in all constituencies, do the piping. It's our money. We have the resources to tap in and pay for it. Gaplet government water should be free, affordable. Electricity will be for water free. It takes how many people would walk 30 kilometers to go have a proper drink of water. That's a big shame from 1965 up to today, and we were considered the best number eight in the whole entire world that has the best water. Look at this, look at the dry season. You drive from Banjun to, from Brikama to, to, to Koina. Look at, the, you see all you see, greenish. You know why? We have the best soil, 75% iron. None of the former leaders, if we believe in Allah, and we, we believe that a leader should have a good heart, we have the resource, why are we suffering? Why are we suffering bad leadership? There's a difference between a president and a leader. A leader should have a good heart, humble, and care for his people. Make sure his people believe in themselves, not the people believe in you as a semi-god. Yes. 
like a court. Yes. No. Gap-led government will cut that court system in Gambia. Some people, what I said, some people will go to Baru now, put AC on, enjoy, Kotoke, Kanawari, Abebamba. They are fooling him. Because of what they were enjoying the benefits from Jawara to Jamme, and they don't want to leave. They'll come story, line, create avenues. Tell him everything's okay. That's why I tell Baru, if you bring one trillion dollar on the table mm -hmm. and you don't take this cooperative come December 4th, you'll be out. So we separate those entities. The Nawek to Electoral Nawek. Why are we going and spend? Remember, they went to Jara Soma to build that dam. I calculate 482 million connected Guinea Conakry. It's a joke. They will sign documents to what to enjoy their commissions. My brother, nine million dollars, ten million dollars solar. I have a friend of mine is in is in Germany. The wind turbines. Yes. One wind turbine will supply proper energy to four thousand homes. I can even show you. I have ex these are Gandhians. Well, academic intelligence, they know. I have almost like close to 300 Gambians in different fields, in, in, in financial fields, in agricultural fields, in energy fields. They are competent Gambians, ready to come when gap led government is in power. I even tell them, can you come? I will introduce you guys to the, to the government. If they care for the Gambians, they will hire you so that you can do the job. But the, these people are not ready to work. They're not ready to work. They are not ready. Jawara protect the sovereignty. He tried. Remember 1981 when the Senegambia confronted and they said this Senegalese want to control us. With the help of the Nigerians, the confederation cut off. And he goes. We started having problem with Nigeria, Ghana, Senegal. I don't have problem with any Senegalese. Me personally or Gabriel or Gambians, we don't have problem with any Senegal. We have yes. problem with the administration. Yes. Jamie came, he protected the sovereignty with all his yes. brutality. Yes. Huh? He tried. Now the sovereignty is gone under the regime of the coalition government by who's leading the barrow. This morning when I was having an interview with um, Panderi, I said, Mr. President Barrow, you are a president. Do not allow any president on earth to dictate you. The but, people who said... But who is the dictating uh, him? They know Did you see anyone? I feel, me, I feel, it's Mackie versus... Mikey versus uh, Barrow. But that's pure speculation. That's not that is no base. My brother, that's ba based what to you that. mean? Do you want to tell? There is no base to that. I, I like your word when there is no base in there's that. There is no foundation. There's no, if there is no foundation, what do, why do we need the Senegal security in the house? No, no, no. But this is an arrangement. This what? is an, a, a 2016 arrangement. They are by ECOWAS. That is not Mackey Sal. That is ECOWAS. You have to I mean, uh, distinguish the two. <laughs> brother. <laughs> but brother. away from that. Brother. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Brother, you know what I'm saying. No, but, I'm but, urging Mr. President Barrow. From, yes. I'm urging Mr. President Barrow with yes. due respect. Yes. People might not understand Bachili. Yes. Bachili is the most one of the most consistent Politici political leaders. Yes. I speak my mind with reality. I, I have due respect with any human being. There is a guy who insulted the day before yesterday. He insulted me. He's in um, he's in Turkey. He used to be one of a good mobilizer in in Sukuta for APRC. And now, Tom, when they hit APRC, they, they make big mobilization yes. for battle. He insulted me on the media, big time insult. I try, I tag him, he called me, I spoke to him, he apologized. But you think you're going to be there? I'm going to be there. Halifa Salah, honorable Halifa I have high respect for him. High respect for him. I'm the only one, I, I didn't say I'm the first one to say, but when I said, 1997 constitution should be just amended with the clause that Jamie no, touched. We will, we will get to no, that. Okay, are, let, are, let me reserve. You are, you are veering off. You will, we, will, we will get to that. We will get to your Abuja trip and the issue of the constitution because Jonathan has just re returned to the country. Let me come to President Barrow. Now, now, let, now let, let, let me yes, finish. Yes. Do respect to him. Yes. I want to tell him be a president and a leader for Gambians. It's the Gambians that put you there. No leader on earth put you there. It's Allah through the Gambians. Yes. And it's Allah through the Gambians who kick you out. So if I'm you, the only person that can dictate you are the Gambians. When they make noise, come to the television, you talk to your people. They give you a job. They are the ones giving but, but you But why are you making this an issue when it's, you don't have evidence that there are, there are forces that are dictating him? When you don't have the evidence, till you have that evidence, 
That is not, you cannot say, in no, I mean, for certain that that is what is going on. Can let let can, me make this a can, little can, tough can, for you. Can, a little, can, a little can, tough for no, you. Not tough. You know, sometimes I like to look at the agreement <laughs> that they made. Yes. Let me start with the River Gambia. Yes. Who is who? Is, who? is it Minister of Fishery? The Minister of Fishery that signed the agreement of our fishery? The Senegalese can come and tap anyhow they want it. Hmm? Are you saying that they are dictating person battle because of that? Remember when, you, when one of the when Senegalese, look, when look one of that. the Senegalese, I don't know, military got caught up with vigilos of you know that incident that happened. Yes. When our intelligence PRU arrest them, yes. <laughs> my brother, there's a there's a record here when. When I don't want to get into but those it. ones were sent back, they were kicked out of the out of the economic troops. My brother, and they were sent to Senegal. I'm telling you now. My let's urge, let's, let's be, no no before you jump. Yes. Let me clear this first. Yes. Go ahead, Mr. President Barrow. We do respect. We do respect. If you want to maintain and the trust that Gambia have for you, be the leader of the Gambians. Look at the deportation, my brother. We will get to no, that I'm because I'm going to youth and we will get to the issue of deportation. Because if you look at in any society, the young people are quite critical. In the Gambia, for far too long, you have a lot of young people who feel that they are not being carried along by their government. I mean, at your Congress, you also spoke about uh, youth the and, empowerment and, the, of and, the youth. Yeah, and what you intend to do for young people. But... It, it would appear that it is complicated or it is quite challenging for any government to really fix the problem, the myriad of challenges or problems that are facing young people in this country. Tell us specifically, what, are you, you, what do you have for the Gambian youth? Number one, I'll create a skill, a vocational skillful center in all this. Don't you think that is monotonous? Because every politician would tell us Let, this, let me every forget, party I will tell create us that. an investment bank. Gambia Investment Bank. Yes. Make our kids to be independent, entrepreneur minded. If you want to learn a skill, huh, mm -hmm. you come. We give you a loan. The money will not give it to you directly. Mm -hmm. Listen to me proper. We will create, bring your project, your project plan that you want to be a businessman, you want to be engineering, you want to be this, you want to be a farmer, yes. you want to be a livestock herd, yes. you bring your, 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 how you call it, your, your project plans. Yes. We look at it, Gambia Investment Bank. Manager will attach one of the manager, they look at it, mm -hmm. they say exactly, this is what you need, it costs about $400,000, $8,000 to start your business. We'll open an account for you. We have the resources, it's Gambia money. It belongs to us to make sure our kids can think that they have a green pasture in this country. Believe nothing, to believe we can make it in this country. Give them those amounts, both female and males, in all sects. Money will be managed by them. By the, they will have a special manager, will control them and they start working yes. slowly, but in the next five to 10 years, everybody will be independent. But in, 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 in your Congress, you said in four years, you want to make 400, Millionaires. millionaires. Thank you. How do you want uh -huh. to go about that? Those 400 millionaires. 400 Gambian millionaires. 400 four million, when I say 400 Gambian millionaires, yes. I will start those who are a little bit up. Those Gambians who are a little up in business set. Yes. Uh, mm -hmm. At least they have a capital of 10 million. Uh, mm -hmm. Then give them incentive of open land. They'll be multi millionaires. So those 400 millionaires, they will start creating jobs for the Gambians. And then those who want to start their own business in all kinds of sect. We give them four years with, with, with heavy incentive. My brother, they will make it. When I say millionaire, when you have $2 million in your car, you're a millionaire. Your breakfast, your lunch, your dinner, it's comfortable. Open avenues, no one will worry about their, their, daily, their daily needs. Daily needs are what? Proper breakfast, proper lunch, proper dinner. There's a ways. I'll call the, our, our, our financial tycoons. The vision is there. We demarcate it. And then we move on. What by determination? Rwanda was destroyed. 20 years, they became superpower of Africa. The cleanest country in Africa, the third cleanest city in the whole entire world. Why determination? Are you with me? We have the phones, the syndrome of begging balls. You know, this political, this, this government, they said Gambia have no riches. 
were based on taxes and what? Donors. I said, no. The black sand alone, the black sand alone, mm. Mr. Jai, the black sand alone, the machine that processed the black sand, why are they taking the black sand raw material to China? For what for? Do you want to tell me in Gambia here we don't have an extremely intelligent people? We have millions of intelligent people in Gambia, hundreds of thousands who know no how. Just buy the machines. Bring them. Then we use the raw material processes. I challenge everyone. Black sand soccer processes, it gives you 17 different types of resources. Sometimes when you process platinum, come out. You process it again, gold come out. You process it, diamond come out. Aquamarine come out. Zircon come out. The uranium that they use to make nuke. Do you know how many billions of dollars is that? Why are we importing our raw material to China and they process that road, resell it to us with higher price? What for? God let government say yes. If we don't have the money, we have the money. GRA is a government money. They can gen generate. You know that I know that. If GRA was cut towards the general a month, 1.1 to 1.2 billion dollars. 20 to 22 million dollars. Dollars rather. Dollars. In a month. They can, if they push it, they can produce 2.5 billion dollars, which is 50 million dollars. But as I like to use the low back to, to $22 million yes. times, yes. let's say $20 million times, yes. times, times, times 12. Yes. That's $2.4 billion. Imagine. $22 million times 12. $20 million, 200, sorry, a quarter of a billion dollars per year, Jerry. Yes. This is based on corruption day. With all the corruption they're doing, they still generate $20 million, $1 billion. $12 billion dollars per year. We buy a machine. Just one go. We buy the machine. And uh, that's, but that's the money that you use to make sure you fix, uh, plug other holes in, 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 in the economy. My, you cannot take that money my and, brother, go and spend my brother, it on a machine. Thank you very much. When people need to is, eat is, food, is, 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 when, 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 when salaries need machine, to get some paid. Of the, some of the machines, you know? if you put the high deposit on it, they when can ministries be, need to run. Can I, can I come in? Can I come in? Can I come in, brother? Don't come me off when I'm talking. Of course, of course. I, you know, I got love for you. Of course, of okay. course. When we, if the machine costs $25 million, this is government buying the machine. It's not an individual buying the machine. We go to government to government. Now, we want this, it costs how $25. We'll put $15 million. $10 million we pay pay. They bring, fix it, create more jobs. Now, teaching our people. We bring the scientists yes. who can turn raw material into production. Yes. That's Roman. That's 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 the black sand. We have another white silicon sand. Yes. That they use the the windows of the plane. We have the River Gambia. Let's let me forget about this black sand. Come to River Gambia. Why are they putting? Why the Chinese are putting our trawlers in the River Gambia? Why? Trawlers are meant on Atlantic ozone. Mm -hmm. Huh? Mm -hmm. When Gablet government comes, we will close our seas. The River Gambia and Atlantic will close it yes. for fishing and we'll find avenues. We can even go to Norway and import some fish. Bring it and tell our people. You want to go to Norway and, and bring fish? You know, you know why? Yes. Because I want our sea to generate. Because Chinese, they already took everything. We will close it. There is nothing in there. There is the small air. There is nothing. They tap, they tap until they tap the money that they give us. Last time I heard they want to give us 2,500 tons of rice. What for? Are we poor? We don't need the rice. Why won't you use the money we have? We create sample. Sample is there, my brother. $150 million can create a job immediately. We start, we start, we start moving on. Mm -hmm. But Gambians, they're not ready to walk. The ones that are ready to walk, they are blocking those. Now, still on the youth there, because you talked about something that is very important. Just recently, a group of Gambians got deported. Mm -hmm. And this, you, 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 you addressed the issue of mass deportation at your Congress. Mm -hmm. And you called the agreements, whatever it is, whether that is an agreement, well, I think that is something that people really know about. The issue of Gambia entering into some sort of agreement or deal with European nations, really, to have some Gambians sent back. You call the agreements draconian, uh, and you are saying that you will dismantle or get rid of or roll back all those agreements when you take power. Okay, thank you. 
the Europeans, they come to Africa. They do whatever, do you say they deport unless until they commit a serious crime. Some of the mothers, these boy, back, 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 back way boys, some of their mothers took loan. Some of them sold their houses. Some of them sold their jewelries. Some, I'm sorry, some of their sisters, they went on Baran. Really, they did that? Yeah, my brother, I'm talking to In Gambians. this small Gambia? They, they, I'm talking to Gambians. My brother, a leader don't sleep in that state house. If you want to know the problem of your people, go out. Mandama de Gena. Go inside. That Talk. I know. That yeah. I know. I know yeah. you. You go, know. You, you, I want you, to you listen. Go, you yeah. go everywhere. Everywhere That's... to listen to my people. They are the one giving me job. They say Secretary General, but Chile Secretary General. It's the people make me Secretary General. I want to know the problem of my people. Some of the sisters come. They say they baran. To raise money for to their raise brothers. money for their brothers to go because they are suffering. I shed tears. You start crying. I start crying. But you know me. Whatever I have, I give. And I'll give till the day I die. You understand? So, if these people, some of them died in the Mediterranean Sea, brother. They cross, they went, Germany, Italy, Spain, now these Europeans. The, the Europeans have no problem. Yes. They call our government. Yes. They said, look, we don't want these people to stay here. Yes. We want probably can give you some monies. Yes. Mm -hmm. Millions of euros. Mm -hmm. You create a facility job for them. When they come, you can have an incentive. If it was Bachelet Gap led government, not Bachelet Gap led government, I will tell um, sir, did they create, did they create, create a, um, a crime? No. Did they steal? No. Did they kill somebody? No. Why are you deporting them? I won't allow. You're not allowing. I won't allow. What if they, they, they committed an offense? No, if they commit a serious offense, my foreign affairs will fly. To go get them. To get them. And bring them back. And bring them back here. I have no problem with that. But because they don't have document or they're refugee, they say there's no problem. They have our foreign minister from since 2017. The foreign minister, first foreign minister is who? Baba Husseinu. Whatever from the records of Baba Husseinu and the current one, they must come out. Who signed of that deposition agreement? We want to know what they have signed. We must know as a Gabian. When they were going back way, did Baba Husseinu or Tangara give the one dollar? So they have no right. They have no right to, to sign that to agreement see. with the Europeans. These are Gambians. They went for green pastor. They didn't do no crimes. I don't, I'm not doing this because I want political statement. No, from my heart. If I was the government, then that flight would return back to Germany. You'll send the flight back. I will back. send the flight back to Germany. Back. But this is a flight that is carrying your citizens. If this carry my citizen, did I tell my did my citizen tell me that they want to be deported? If they tell me a eh, 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 uh, gap led government, it, it could be bachelor somebody that president we are tired, we want to come out, send my own flight. They don't want to be deported. How about the international obligations? What are you going to do with those? What you mean international obligations? International bro? obligation is saying that <laughs> every citizen, every country has a right to remove people that they don't want in their country. If they and if whatever what the, 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 the originating country has every obligation to take back their citizens. If, if the Europeans and Americans, uh, uh, how you call it? Came here. No, please. came here. on And we don't give them visa to come in. And they are using the bad ways on the Mediterranean Sea or Atlantic Sea or Pacific Sea coming to Gambia, going to African country for green patch mm -hmm. and they are dying. My brother, they will put sanction on us. Why won't you give them visa with, with the strict measurements of laws? They violate that, they can be deported. Simple. That's why I said there's no democracy. The United Nations knows. Embass embassies are here. Give them visa. Oh, I want you to stay. What are you going for? I'm going for, st for student visa. No problem. Don't you think that that is also a little <laughs> risky? We don't uh, stand the risk of having all our people travel. And who is going My to brother, stay people, some people, to build the country? Some people will stay here no matter what. Some people will go no matter what. That's part of nature. Yes, that but is we, that's part of nature. No yes. matter what. Even, you, are opening if, the, you are opening the floor gates for people, everybody to leave. No, I'm, I'm not. You know why? But when, 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 when <laughs> gap let governments in power, my brother, we, we, we create avenues. I'm not saying governments will never leave, but the government would hardly leave. Because we will make sure that the, the conditions are quite comfortable and perfect. And the resources that we have, from the raw material to finishing product, that will generate billions of dollars for us. And we share the cake in the right way. Everybody will eat. Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen.
Now, it's, it's, no, let me finish. Yes. I'm telling you, now, Gaplet government, mm -hmm. I'm, I'm summoning, mm -hmm. I'm summoning this government from 2017. Germany used, when they deported those, Germany used to kick them out. Yes. Why are we going to Europeans and selling our peoples so that they can be deported? I'm urging this government, I'm challenging this government, bring the documents, the agreement signed by the former foreign affairs to the current foreign affairs. If they believe in themselves that they are clean, let them bring it out. Let's see the agreement. It is the government agreement. We read it. Oh, wow. This is the agreement that they signed? Fine. Until then, they sold our people. Who sold our people? Uh, the, the ministers who are there through their government. Yeah, are you talking about Zenodavo and... Babu Sen was the foreign affairs. And, and, and when you, oh, hold on. Let me, let me see me when it comes to government. If Usenu Bachili is my father, love him to death. But when it comes to gambling issue, <laughs> you don't comp compromise. play with that. So, are you? Can you categorically tell? Because you are a political leader, and you should not be afraid to st speak your mind. My brother, my question yeah, is: don't be, Are you don't saying? Don't use that word. That I'm are you afraid. saying? Do what no, afraid no, I'm, not, I'm not saying. I'm not saying you. Uh, you should not be afraid to s make certain political statements. What I'm saying is: Is uh, can you emphatically say on this platform, on my show, that Usainu Dabo, former foreign minister, and Dr. Mamadou Tangara, current foreign minister? These are the two people that combined to sell off our youth. Um, let me repeat one more time with proper empathy. I want governments to listen to me with the third eye. Proper mindset and good mindset. Yes. When the Europeans, if they want to deport our people, yes. they don't just grab our people and send them out. They call our government. Yes. Who was, who was representing our government? It's not our, our foreign affairs? Yes. Huh? Yes. Okay. They will talk to the foreign affairs. Yes. That foreign affairs will take that agreement to the president. And when the president approve it, the foreign affairs do approve it to send it back to them. All this deportation issue started from 2017. They flew to Europe. Whatever they agreed on that agreement, we want to see that. Until then, Babu Senu Dabo Tangarai. Because it was Babu Sen Dabo, mm -hmm. after Tangara, this I will, I, will, I will summon them, let them bring the agreement. Listen, yes. let them bring the agreement and tell us why are they selling our people? Do they create a crime over there in, in Spain, in France, in Italy, in Germany, in the United Kingdom, in America? Why? Unless until they murdered or raped. These are the two serious crimes. Murdered. Rape. I don't even compromise. I'll send a plane to them. i say, bring my people. Or jail them until the time. And when you're ready, you will buy their tickets to come. And rehabilitate them. Why? Are you with me? They sold our people. I'm not, you see, Bachili is not doing a political statement. I told you, my brother. Me, I don't come for interval for fame. I was born in fame, grew up in fame, inshallah, will die in fame. But when it comes to Gambia, look, if it was about money, well, I can hustle, man, I can make money. Gap, that's why I don't, I don't, I don't, we don't actually attach any financial support. Some of us give conditions, but you know, we pump you four, five million dollars, but I say, sir, don't condition me. <laughs> don't ever try to condition me because you cannot condition Gambia. If you help me, when I win, this is about talk. This is about my citizens. Then the finance that you help, I will tell them my financial supporters help me. Yes. We refund you back. Yes. What? What? Okay. Are you with me? Yes. Let me come to my youths. These are the cream of the society. Some of the mothers they die. I'm not marrying you on the day then. When they hear that kids are coming deported, some the, the high blood pressure rise up. Some have strokes. Some cry until their heart bleed. <laughs> in any top fee, the, some of the foreign affairs, the government, you drive in expensive cars on our taxpayers' money. Tangara Tutu to Munyao Chulung, the them. Is it his money? Is that our money? The masses' money. Yes. Yes. Why are you scared of the European? Tell them, look, we cannot leave, we will never allow our people to be deported unless until they murdered someone or they raped somebody. Create avenues there. The money is that you are deporting them. Why won't you create that and create a small avenues for them? They don't want to live in Europe. I'm not forcing Gambians to stay in Gambia. Mm -hmm. But they use the herd money. Mm -hmm. Say, Halis Lingel, mm -hmm. guy now. Mm -hmm. 
all of a sudden they are in the face, some of their sisters shame, some down the Mediterranean Sea. If we Africans were doing this to Europeans, they would sanction us. Exodus. And I'm urging the government, Gablet government, we will talk our bilateral and all the embassies will come here. And I will tell them, if you want to work with me, give my people visas. Give your conditions. The condition might be, okay, if you are going to London and we believe that you are overstaying, pay a deposit of £3,000, fine. Who wants to ever, you pay your deposit. If you violate the laws, they take that £3,000 and bring it back. Because, but it will never be a back way again. No more back way. No more back way on Gaplet government. Now, the back way will be a thing of the past. The thing of forever. Visas will be issued. Any embassy don't want to work with that, I don't need to work with you. You will kick them out. I will, don't need to work with you. What is your issue, again, because this was also raised at your Congress, what is your issue with gays and lesbians? <laughs> Allahu Akbar. If yes. Hussein Bachili yes. married another Hussein Sisi, <laughs> you think Bachili will sit here? <laughs> I'm telling you, <laughs> if Hussein Bachili, my yes. father loves him to death, I'm not disrespecting my dad. If Hussein Yali Bachili married Hussein, Hussein Dabo, yes. you think I'll be sitting here? You're not Do you think I'll be sitting here? And they said it's human right. That's human abuse. You see, this human right. But rights. why do you want to kill them? No, did I say I would kill them? But, but the, your, your government stand looks, stance looks like killing my, my them, brother, don't persecuting <laughs> them. That is what you intend to do. I'm telling you. You will in, persecute them. Let's, let's, listen, don't put words in my mouth, sir. Mr. Go ahead. You are, go very, ahead. you are a very technical journalist. I love your brother, but you are making more groom again. Uh, inside <laughs> your room, inside your room, somehow. In your room, mm -hmm. not in your, in your in your house. Yes. If anyone can see that in your house, you're in trouble. But in your bedroom, yes. it's none of our concern. You can do whatever you like. It's none of our concern. But the moral attitude, the immoral act, the immoral act in the street. Yes. Two men holding each other. Yes. Musa Yali Bachili, Musa Hussein Yali Bachili holding lemon jai and kissing. You are going to Janjambure. You will send them. You there. will send them minimum sentence is 24 months. Two years. Two years and we reha rehabilitate you. Say this demonic attitude in you. When you come out, we give an incentive you start your life. But why do you want to punish people for simply wanting to live their life? If God, the one who created them. Yes. Okay, I'm challenging, I'm summoning the whole entire globe. Who created us? Yes. I'm challenging the whole entire globe. Who created us? Yes. If they say my mother and father created me, there is no God. The one who created the seven heavens and seven earth, the, 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 the atheists, the people who don't even believe in God, can, can they tell us, let them bring scientific proof who created the seven heavens? Look at the sky. Who created it? If the God, the, the Lord of Moses, the Lord of, the Lord of John, the Lord of Muhammad said they are criminals, who is me to tell them they are reformers? It's not me who said it. This, let, let me tell you, Mr. Jai, with Bachili, I will die for the truth. Nothing can change Bachili. But in this era of human rights. Which, don't, which, human era, rights. which era of human? Tell me in this era of destruction, destruction, human rights. Destruction, human rights. What does that mean? Uh -huh. I don't understand that. Yeah, thank you very much. <laughs> Can, like, like I said, no disrespect to you. Mm -hmm. Your father, Mr. Njai, yes. and my father, Bachili, yes. if they married, would you, would you really talk to me? <laughs> okay, no disrespect to you. My mother, Aminata Bayo, yes. if you marry to your mother, <laughs> would you talk to me? This European but, court. But, this, but this is not about, this is not about uh, reproducing reprodu children. Is that what the idea of homosexuality, is that what is it about? Producing. How is can that it, what is this about? Because marriage, those, marriage, who, marriage. those who choose this lifestyle do not go about. These are people who have decided not to have a children, or when they have a children, they will go and adopt. But they, they, they really. That's not their problem. They really don't mind. This is their life. They choose to live it that way. Okay. And you have a problem with that. I don't have a problem with but, that. But clearly, you have a, your Let government me, will not allow it. That is why you I will never allow it in our society. But why? We are Muslim society, and we are decent Africans. This is not our culture. Two bulls, two 
Can they sleep with them? <laughs> This my brother, don't make me laugh. I don't want to laugh, man. <laughs> on the gap, let but, 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 on but the gap, how are you? Because you could see that the issue of gay uh, homosexuality has gained greater prominence in the West. You could see there are mass campaigns, mass movements, mass initiatives that have been rolled out to making sure that countries really be a little more receptive and tolerant to people who choose to live their life differently. How are you going to navigate I that? I will repeat it again. Okay. Let the whole wide world listen to me. Yes. In your bedroom, mm -hmm. I have no concern. But the immoral act yes. in the street yes. will never happen in Gambia unless I die. And the concerned citizens in Gambia who are more even concerned than I will never allow that on their government. Can, uh, are you are you uh, Museveni the second? Uh, Museveni, you are Museveni. Because uh, Mus he too do, do, do like gays uh, me, in me, his country. Me, I'm not Museveni. I'm a student of Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. <laughs> more powerful than Museveni. I'm more powerful than I'm the student. Yes. Of Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. We don't compromise with the teaching of Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Even the dissent non-Muslims. The yes. dissent non-Muslims. The Christian world, they even don't want gays. Marriage is between Fatmata and Musa. Not Ibrahim and Isa. <laughs> Mr. Jai, let's move on, man. Khalilu Kamara, based in the US, mm -hmm. wants to run for president, wants to be president of this country. Mm -hmm. I saw him at your Congress, and all of a sudden, he's been appointed into your executive. How did that come about? The issue of Khalilu Kamara independent, once aspirant presidential candidate, all of a sudden, deputy national president of your party. That is so fast, so meteoric. How did that happen? Oh, you see, Kalilu Kamara has the same vision with GAP. Any concerned citizens has the same vision with GAP, mm. automatic light. Let me give you an example of Omar Bi wanted to form his own party. He's saying that our visions are attached together, mm -hmm. right? Automatically, he stopped forming his political party and is the deputy secretary general of Gambi Action Party. Kalilu wants to stand as independent. Um, when he sat with me, I listened to him, because I'm a good listener. I listened to him until he dawned. I said, my brother, that's the same manifest with me. He said, then my brother, I don't need to stand. I said, well, we have the right to apply for presidential candidate. This party belongs to the Gambians. Yes. Huh? yes. So let's share the same vision that you have, combined with us, and move the country. He agreed, and we gave him the national deputy president. When it's time to come for black flag bearership, we have competent Gambians who are in gap yes. can rule this country. Yes. So it is upon us now to decide collectively as an executive members yes. whom yes. to choose. Yes. It could be you, it could be Kalilu, it could be I, it could be Tamsir, it could be Bachili, it could be anybody out of the box and become the lead and move on. Until then, it's not a surprise. Away from that, let's talk about, because the, the issue of the draft, the draft constitution, this is something that is very important. You went to a flu, some, a, a, a little over a week ago, you went to Abuja, Nigeria, where you met with uh, the former Nigerian president, Goodluck Jonathan. He flew back into the country yesterday, and today he met the president. Um, where does that talk stand? Because I know when you came back, what you said, or what you told reporters at the airport was that the tour was nice. You said the tour was nice, and then you guys went there, you met with Jonathan. But it would appear that still there are serious, serious issues surrounding this whole dialogue, I mean, negotiation, if you like. Okay. Where those things stand? What happened when we were there? Let me break it down for people to have understanding. Yes. We, 10 political parties, went there. You know, we all sat there, we talk. You know, the... The amendments that we talk about here before he left last time, yes. that's the same amendment yes. they went to project on a projection. We looked. They made a little mistake. Yes. It was rectified by Sidin Jai. Yes. So now we all talk. Baba Hussainu said, he agreed too, mm -hmm. but he said the way the draft should be presented in the assembly should not touch, should not be touched. Are you with me? Yes. That whatever we amend, including the raw, the raw thing of draft, should be presented to the assembly by the Minister of, 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 of Justice. Mm -hmm. The uh, minority leader was there and the majority leader was there. Okay, when we look at the, the agreement of the CRC, it's done. And whatever we agree should be amended in there. 
and present in the assembly. Then the, the members of assembly members will decide whether to take it or not. This is the problem we have. Are you with me? Yes. Baba Hussein said no one should touch it. The way it is written by the former CRC members, yes. commissioners, they should take that same book with the amendment we have and he present it read in front of the assembly members, they will decide what to do. What did you make of that when he said that? Me, when he said, I said, Baba, you are, Baba, you, you, you are causing problem here. I you, tell him. You told him? I tell him, I said, he's a bigger boy. I even told you, I said, there's two people who are causing problem in Gambia. Yes. Baba Hussein and, and, and Baro. Straight forward. You told uh, I told him, Jonathan. everybody was sitting there. You told Jonathan. I tell, I said. Why do you think these are two people that are causing problems? Because they are the one causing the rivals here. These two people. These two people. If Baba Hussein resigns, I say everything will be okay. How about Baro resigns? If Baro resigns, it will be fantastic. Let's be honest to each other. Now, me, to, so that we can have, me, I still stand on 1997 constitution because I don't want Gambia to have problem. Yes. You know, uh, 1997 constitution, if I, if they can listen to me, and listen to gap, gap, gap ideas, including Baba uh, Uncle, Uncle yes. King. What's his name again? Um, Salah, Uncle Alpha Salah. Yes. 1997, less cost, more effective, $2.3 million. $116 million. Maybe we spend only $10 million and we have a new constitution. Now, the position that Gap took, the position that you took at, 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 at Abuja, that position, was that done in consultation with the Gambian people or you just went there and then took your own position and then that was it? Well, the what, what really lead, leaders were called. Leaders were called. The Constitu Do you think... No, listen, let me come in. Let me come in. The, the how you call it, uh, the Constitution, they flew all over the nation. They drove from Khartoum to Lebanon and seek the consent of the Gambians. And they start flying again from Gambia to Europe, Europe to America. And seek and whatever seek the consent of of, yes. of, of the Gambians. Yes. They flew to African countries yes. to seek the consent of Gambians. They draft it. Under that draft, they bring it to the leaders and the parliamentary. They see some fault in there that should be amended. Amendment should be done by the CRS Commission if the contract is not finished. Yes. Yes. You understand? Mm -hmm. But I said if 1997 was number one. If they would have amended the 2017, we wouldn't have this problem. It's an individual interest here. So, so this, in, this individual interest, before we have a collective destruction, less retro, retro, retroactive suit five years. Because we believe when we go to election 2021. But this is not about, this is country. This is not that simple. It's not about Sarahenenko. It's okay. not about, you know, you know, playing with, with the Gambian people because this is what it looks like. We, All of you who went there and said, okay, we are going to compromise. President Barrow will get this retroactivity. We are going to remove it. No Gambian told you that because what is in the draft was put there by the Gambian people. It is the Gambian people who told the CRC that we want the president's current term to count. So as a political party, you don't have any right to tinker with that. You say Gambian, you said Gambian people. Of course. When I say Gambian, even the, the new baby born should have, the new baby born, that born during, before they drafted that constitution has the right to say. Don't you know that? Uh, you know that, right? The new baby born, when they start drafting that constitution before they finish it, and the new baby born born today, yes. and they're still drafting it, he or she has the right to say something under the concern of the parents. Do they seek each and everybody Gambians? It's not true. But they, they almost every adult, because by law, if you go okay, by, let's law, go by the law, law, the law says 18 years. Okay. That is what the law says. You say 18. If you are 18, you can vote. You can have a say. That is what the law says. So the newborn baby really is not very important okay, in I'll, this. I'm, I'm it is the adults that are important. As, and when you went as, to... When the CRC went to the adults, the adult told them, in every 10 people, seven would say, we want the president's current term to count. Now you have all these political parties, except UDP, that said, no, all the political parties went there and be like, oh, okay, Sarah Henenko. This is distorting. You, you, you said, this except, is very except, disturbing. Except UDP. Except UDP. UDP didn't say that. At least, at you, least you know for what now. Did, what for, you know what did UDP say? What did they say? What we amended, what we amended, including the raw matter of the constitution, should not be touched. I'm say, talking about the retroactivity. Are you saying that UDP also said that the retroactive clause be knocked out, be removed? 
Is that what you are saying? Let, let me tell you something. What much is out there? It is only you UDP know, that said no, that about, rejected about, that. About what? That's about the issue of the president's current term. That, That's that, what it, that because means, that is where the problem that is. You, you tell UDP are saying that the current term of the president should be excluded. Should, be, be, included. should be included. No, 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 no. They said it should be included. No, no, no. no. They said what they said. Is that what they said? Yes. The, what they said. Yes. At Abuja, yes. if I'm not deaf. Yes. And my memories serve me right. Yes. They said whatever we amend. Yes. The agreement. That yes, the five years should be included. It should be excluded rather. That is what UDP said. That is their stance. Yeah. Now, but it should be excluded that when Barrow Town will start 2021 and 2026. Yes. You, I, we all agreed. But the problem is the way it should be presented in the in the assembly. So UDP also agreed. For the records, no, I just want this I'm to be clear. To me, UDP, I was there. UDP also agreed that the way, the way, you know, we all agreed. Yes. Whatever we amend should be, the Minister of Justice should go yes. and put all the amendments perfection yes. in the in the Constitution and present it. Yes. They said no. UDP said no. The amendment should not be touched. It should be written. A copy of that. This is the amendment copy huh, that mm -hmm. we all agreed. Yes. The, this is the raw material of the Constitution. The Minister of Justice will go to the Assembly and present it yes. like this. Okay, these are the amendments of the all what we agree and the raw materials. Now we want to put this amendment inside this, and then you guys vote it in. They said that's what they want. But we agreed. If the contract of the commission is over, this agreement, this amendment that we agreed, take it, inject it inside, proper, done, and then take it and then present it in the Assembly. That's what we said in Abuja. But, but, I, but I'm still a little confused by UDP's stand position here. My brother. Because what we, what I have gathered here, at least from among some of the political leaders that are in this, talk, this talk, was that UDP, you are talking about procedure, yes. UDP I'm did, talking about procedure. UDP, UDP did disagree in terms of the procedure, how it is going to be taken back. Thank you. UDP disagreed. But the other area that UDP also disagreed has to do with the issue of whether the president's current term should be included or not. They had reservations over that too. You are here saying that uh, when, you when, did not when, hear that. But maybe I might, what I hear was the procedure. I was concerned about the procedure. They disagreed. That you were not listening. No, but I was, you know. Or I maybe would, the, uh, the, the, the Augusti soup. Uh, no, I don't eat Augusti. Uh, what did you eat when you got there? I just that? ate my table steak. <laughs> table steak. <laughs> table steak. <laughs> uh, this is the problem. But now, whether they agree yes. or don't agree, yes. for the sake of Gambia yes. and the sake of our people, yes. so that we can have tart. But people. your people never said that you should go and, knock, uh, and say, say that the, 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 the five years should be removed. But because what, clearly it was the why people Why are that they scared? Why you they are scared? Let no, me no, use the word. Not why, are they, why are they scared that this five years should not be should be included? But this is not about UDP. I am not talking about UDP. No, I am you, talking about the Gambian people. No, no. The Gambian people. No yes. One, the I, Gambian I am people. talking about because this, I am saying that this issue of five years, the president's current term, this was put in that draft by the Gambian people. The CRC did not go to their office, small corner, and then put the current co uh, term like that. What they did, they consulted. They went to Bantabas. They went to Vus. They went to communities, you know, and asked the people did of the Gambia. They come to my house. They asked the people of the did country. They come to my house. Of course, they 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 engaged all the political parties, and all of you agreed to this draft. All of you. Me and all me. the no, political no 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 from the day one when Baba Hussein was even in government, when they created this, all these commissions, who's the first person to say, Jaina Commons is Lasso? Have you forgotten? No, I've not forgotten about that. <laughs> I said, I've CRC is Lasso. Have you forgotten? You, you, you said that. And I said, I'm totally out of this new constitution. All I need, 1997, to be amended. But in a, in a democracy, but, not everybody agrees. But the majority is what counts. But the majority said that the president's current term, now here you have, my brother. you have Bajili of Gap, yeah. and all these people going to Abuja, saying, okay, uh, the president can have it his way, we are going to remove but, that. And you never even engage the government people, whether they want that removed or not. Let me do you think, let do me you think it is in your place to go do that? Do you think that is in your place my to brother, do that? My, let me repeat myself one more time. I'm a consistent servant. And, and in the case of Gap, you know what is also not very consistent? Has to do with the, you never supported this. That is what you just said. But here you are in Abuja trying to decide on something that you never supported. No, no. That, is, that is great inconsistency no, it's, 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 there. There's, there's, there's a great consistency in there. How? Thank you. If we don't have yes. a new constitution yes. by June 4th, yes. 
then we are going on the 19, 1997 constitution. That means I won. <laughs> that means I won. You know why? So why, why do you? <laughs> you why do you? Know, why you, know, why that do you means I won. Why do you try to for, for find a way of making sure this when 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 because you don't support it? Because the Gambians it. want it. Now you you are, listen, you you you've gone back to, to no, my no, point. Listen, listen. I'm not. Listen. I want, you have to listen. Go Let on, me break go it down. God. If 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 they, let me tell you something about the constitution. Yes. Yes. There's only let me break it down particularly. Number one, it's a big boys fighting here. Who are the big boys? Baro versus Dabo. These are the father problem. and son. Father and son. I, 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 I cannot call them father. Well, that is it. The politically, they, they call each other father and son. Up to, me, I'm the son of Dabo. He's my father. But between Baro and I, I can say that a, a vice, a president versus a, a secretary general. Yes. This is the problem. They came to some, from same party. Yes. If Papa Hussein was in the in the game, still yes. as a vice president, yes. that would be no problem, man. <laughs> that, that wouldn't be any problem. problem. No problem. Different start. Now Jonathan is back in the country. Uh -huh, that's what I heard. Jonathan is back I heard, in the country. I heard that. I heard uh, that. Yes, and he met the president today. Oh, he met the president today. He met the president today. I never knew that he met the president. But uh, but but what is going to happen now? Uh, what is going to? Happen? I'm sure he will try to meet you too. They, they, they send me information. They send me. What did they send you? They send me information that they will see us tomorrow. Tomorrow. Yeah. Where through through email. I don't know yet, but I will ask my administrative secretary to ask which which is the venue. When the event happens, if you want me to tell, I'll tell you. Of course, of it's course. It's about Gambia. Issue. It's this about Gambia. We yeah, cannot, we yeah, cannot hide anything. Yeah, yeah. I mean, what do you want to see now? Because when the, we it reach, looks like when we it looks like there, this is the very last chance. And this is the everlasting chance. Mm -hmm. This is the everlasting chance. Yes. There's two things here. If we don't compromise, we don't compromise to our third republic. Let's amend 1997. Then. All we need, uh, how you call it, two term, 51 plus rather. Yes. Huh? People yes. want the 51 plus. Yes. Huh? Yes. Amend that because they amended the age, the age limit. The corruption started from the age limit. That is where it started. That is started. If I was there, President Barroso rejected the look. If we want to amend the age limit, let's amend the whole entire 1997 constitution. But they don't want it. It's an individual can can there. I'm now, telling you, now. they said, look, listen, you know what this? No, we're not amending 1997. I'm telling you. They said, no, we cannot. I mean, we have to have a new draft. Yes. The new draft is the interest of an individuals who are big boys, man. Who are they? I don't know yet. Are you I'll talking about Dabo? I mean, if, if, if it's Dabo. Are you, are you if, afraid if, to say his la name? La ilaha illallah. Me afraid. Dabo knows me. Baba are you, Dabo are you afraid me. of your dad? My dad knows me. That is what it looks my like. Dad you are me. afraid of your father. Dad, That's fine. No, no, no. That's don't, they did. They did. I'm that. not afraid of my father. I have high regards for my father. The only thing I'm afraid is Allah Azza wa Jal. My father knows I'm positive and stubborn, man. I fear not. If my father is right, do respect. This is a politics. This is not a family thing. I will never open my mouth when it comes to family thing. Ma'am, but I double. Never. Whatever he does to me, family level, never no one will ever hear. It's like Usinu Bachili to me. But when it comes to objectiveness of the country, Ba Usinu Daba is the problem. Ba Usinu Daba should swallow his pride. But we should double should fear Allah. He fear to Christ more fear Allah and bring Gambia to unified. Yes. But we should double is a Masaya because look at him. You should be state resign. Billahi Gambia will take you high up. But no, listen. I'm telling you, me. I'm, with that. No, the, 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 pro the problem is the problem is no. Country. Listen, no. Listen to me. Yes, go on. The problem is when he came out from prison, they gave him the foreign affairs. But we say no, it's not. You don't understand. He served the foreign affairs. You understand. He moved him to vice president. Huh? To the second most powerful position. If I was him, he should be content. He said, Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen. Look, let me resign. And urge the UDPians, the people of UDP, to support Barrow. Because Barrow was asking that he's a UDP. Now, let me... No, don't worry about this. Wait. No. I don't want to hear this statement. No, no, that, let me finish. No, 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 yeah. Ba'u should resign when he become a vice president. He should say, look, Nadwa Ujabita. Yes. Nadwa Ujabita. Say, Baro, I will tell the UDP to support you. I will stand behind and coach you in the right direction. Then even me, even me as Bachili, I will never even form gap. I will know these people, they're not power hungry. Now, the power hungry, the power hungryness, when you cause some trouble, be it. I'm urging Gambians, 
Obelisha Bodhi. The right people are there who will control this country. But, the but, one but, but, they... No, listen, don't cut me off. You see, when I'm talking, you always cut me off. Go on. These are the problem. When we go tomorrow, when we meet all the leaders tomorrow, I'm urging the president, if you love Gambia at heart, come. Uncle Halifa Salah, do not run away from your responsibility. You started it. You started the coalition. You have spent your resources mentally, physically, emotionally, spiritually, financially. I'm talking about Uncle Halifa Salah. Come. We disagree to agree. A leader will never run away. A leader will never run away from his responsibility. But chili, Billahi, whatever I do, I will never run away. My brother, I will come vividly. But chili, you have done this. Yes, I'm the one who did it. Let all these political leaders, including the seven political parties that join to form this coalition, let's come tomorrow. No administrative secretaries, no nothing. The 76, 17 political leaders, including jo Jonathan, president is involved. Let's lock the door tomorrow, even if it's three in the night. Let's agree to disagree until we come to terms. Then the Gambians will know that we love this country at heart. Until then, it's a couple of thieves. We're all couple of thieves, man. When I say thief, I'm not saying to steal. That means we don't love Gambia at heart. That we love ourselves. We want to use that power to... We no, 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 man. Mr. Mr. No, I'm not going to problem me. No, Lege Mange wa Olof. I'm going to problem me. Chahan Mofi Neka, new political leadership. But Chahan Mofi Neka. Tomorrow, I'm telling you vividly, tomorrow, Baro, Mr. President Baro, if you believe in yourself, Huh? Mm -hmm. This is about Gambia. Secretary General, who is the president? They were politi political leaders. You are a political leader, including 16. Let's go wherever they invite us. We sit there. We will sit and talk. Disagree to agree until we come to terms. If not, if not, Gambian see, nge hamne ne, nyunsun leader see, bena nyu bena bena nyu love Gambia heart. Uncle Halifa, I have high regards for you. You should not run away from your responsibility. You should tell the Gambians from the get go. Look, Lila Buga, Lila Neka, Li Mufora Neka. Try na mankena la mun makodef. Nga wa, nga ko sugu, nga ko wai up to dead end. This, this, this seven political party no jaso Gambia fi. Now, I, I want to take you a little, and, a little back. I will take you a little back. I know you are getting animated. I'm not, I will never, don't, don't use that word. Don't use that word. No, means, don't use that word. Uh, I'm, you, I'm are, this, you are getting a little I'm, I'm, uh, I'm, emotional. I'll never get emotional. I'll okay. never get emotional. Okay, okay, okay. I'm, okay. I'm telling the Gambians the seriousness. <laughs> I even summoned the whole entire all of us. How about you are getting a little charged? No, I'm, I'm, I'm energy. I'm always you I was have, born. You have energy. Okay. Now, I will take you a little back. You said some things, but because, because I think that you are you are being unfair to say <laughs> that. Because look, 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 look. The only politician that Gambians, a lot of Gambians will look at and say he should resign. It's just him. I have never seen Gambians talk about other leaders and that they need to resign. It's uh -huh. only Dabo. Why is it that all the time the likes of your person? Would say, would often say. Why you said the like? I'm more close to you. I'm, more, Dabo, I'm, more, Dabo clo I'm more close to Dabo than you. But why? why I'm more close why, to Dabo. Listen, you, I'm more. Cl then me? listen to me. I'm why? more close to Dabo beside his kids. I'm more close to Dabo than many of his executive members. When but, I'm not talking about secret wise. See the need for him to bow out of politics. But when you have in, other in, political in, leaders who are who have become politicians. Did, did, before did, did, did not tell you. Did not tell you, Uncle Halfa Salah. Do respect. He's a concerned citizen, but you should not run away from this concern. But but you never said he should resign. Halifa Salah said that. Alifa you Salah. never said that. Halifa Salah, how, Halifa Salah should even resign if I was him. But you never said that. No, no I never said it. But what? It's what about that? You are. You, are, you know you what? Are, are, the problem is. The problem is. Halifa said, "I'm staying away from this constitution." Halifa said there's a way how to re, re, represent this draft again. They don't want to do that. So he hold himself. He has the right. But I'm no matter what, a leader, a leader will never stay away from you. You will fight until, until the fight is won. I'm calling by, uh, Halifa. He should come. What Halifa said, let me put that to you. I, I, I let, read me, it. let me put that to you. What Halifa said, he said you guys have no business with try, with, 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 in trying to you know, have anything 
to do with the future of this draft constitution. He said you have no right. Who, who has the right? That is what he said. Who has the right? He then? said the political parties do not have any no, right. No, what to I'm saying, who has anything. the right? Who are, do, we, ch do we change? We amend. We never change. But that is what you are doing. Ch <laughs> amending means you are trying to remove then certain who, things. Who, who has the right? Then ask there. who has the right. Did you ask who the has the right? The Gambian people. The Gambian people. Yes. Who represent the Gambian people on the level? Who represent? Not all Gambian people can come and assemble. Suddenly, and assemble. suddenly, not opposition political parties. All, we, 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 are, we, we, we are followers. Maybe. GAP has followers. UDP has followers. NPP has followers. GDC, all names of followers. Even if one is a follower. So we represent our followers. We represent our followers. But you never consult them on this. I wish I have, you I never spoke to them on this. This dialogue that you have started, you never spoke to them on this, did you? Can I, ask you, can I ask you one question? Let's forget about all these yin yang games, hanky panky games. Yes. Let's come to 17 political parties huh? mm -hmm. tomorrow, including the president. Yes. No administrative, no media, no telephone, no camera, off camera. Then no if you don't want the media to be there, no, you wait. are trying to hide something. No, no, listen to me. When I say listen to me, we disagree to agree until we come to agreement we call the media. Certain things is our country. But it's, why are you trying to hide things? That's from what the should media? I hide? Why should I hide? Why are you trying to hide my things? Brother, from the, my brother, if you make it close, though, that means you are not comfortable. That if, are, if 16, you are not comfortable if with six, what, what you are do you going want, to do. Do you in want there? us to see we're fighting, arguing? Of course. If that is what we and need then, to report and for and the government people to know the kind of positions we have, I think we should. My brother. We should. If you are going to fight, the reporters have every right to report it so that the government people. Who, who ma, pay you, ma, who ma, put you in these leadership positions, did Allah says, will know did, did our, that these are the kind of politicians that we have. My brother. Away from that. Final question. No, 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 you can't. Final let, question. Uh, uh, we, ha, we, we are to we have to complete. No, we, we, we have to complete Final this. question. Tomorrow. Final question. Tomorrow. Yes. Any political leader that believes in himself, himself yes. Yes. and he loves Gambit Hart, yes. let's come and sit. We agree to the terms and we move on. And whoever stepped from that, you don't love Gambia's heart. Simple. Why this? Co from get go, if they would have listened to me and Uncle Halfa Sala, mm -hmm. then we have no problem. I meant in 1997, less cost, more effective. They don't want to listen to the truth. Problem started. Because individual interest was there. Now that individual interest cannot be succeeded and they pretend that they love Gambia's heart. Hell no. We need to come our 16, 17 political party tomorrow. If President Barrow believes in himself that he's, he's, he's a servant to the nation, come and sit with us. I will be there. I will come and try yeah. to see. I will tell I can, you. If I we, can enter you. My brother, table. I will tell you to enter you. We agree to disagree. <laughs> and then by on the 11th, the deadline is on the 11th, we come to terms. If we don't come to terms, <laughs> June 4th, after June 4th, Assalamu alaikum. And all of you should take pay back our 400 euros. If this thing fails, all of you will have to pay this 400 euros who, who, back. Who, who, who gave a false order? I don't know it's ideal. It's not the Gambian government. I, 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 I know it's idea, but the, idea gave it to you on behalf of the Gambian people. So all of you will pay this money may back. I said, I said, if they want me to pay, I'll pay. <laughs> you will I'll, have to I'll pay, pay this. Pay. If this fails, if they, all of you will pay this. If it fails or not, you, may you, I give you, all all you will I don't need this, it. will pay this money. See, Final well, question. The Maxon Party has held its Congress. Well, now, you told me... Um, Previously, that you will go on your on your nationwide tour after your congress. I mean, I mean, I the, mean. I you mean, you know, when, when, my when congress when supposed to be on the 11, 12, 13. Yes. Because of the the new measurement they said on the 8. Are we still on lockdown? Are we on lockdown? No, it's just restriction, not Rest really okay, lockdown. Okay, restriction. They say no political gatherings. So are that not. is why you would that's be why able I moved. to do, yeah, that's do your, why. your tour. Yeah. And secondly, it's the date supposed to be on the 11, 12, 13. Seriously. So I did it and there's no political gathering. But we are making political talks, talking to our people, the right people, and they're talking to people until the gathering is uplifted and we move on. I wish there was no political gathering restriction. You would say crowd of, of the, 
what I would have done, man, seriously, man. Yeah, thank <laughs> you very much. And by the way, yeah. I like your hair tie. Yeah. I mean, I have one of those in the <laughs> house. Yeah. Ramadan is coming. I'll, I'll most definitely come to you to show me how to tie that. Yeah, it's simple. It's, just, it's simple. You know, this, this is, this, um, yes. um, I'm, I'm a Muslim, yes. and this is my culture. Yes. And love my culture today. I decided yes. to put, but it's not about Arab day. Yes. My, 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 te my teacher and my prophet. It's Muhammad yeah, yeah. And but there is no extremism attached to this. No they, if, if they terrorism. Want, yeah, you know, people will decide whatever <laughs> they want to say. You know, man, I have a thick skin. You yes. can talk to him tomorrow. Yes, yes. I don't have my gambling moment. Your man, last word. I'm someone all the ulamas, all the intellects who are on the straight path, been Muslim non Muslim, to make their prayers. If the love that I have gone there is not genuine, mm -hmm. it's only in my mouth. Mm -hmm. Let them come. National television say, but Chile, we have seen dreams. From the Istikara, yes. uh, we have seen dreams that what you're saying is in your heart. I resign. Yes. The love that I got for Gambia is unconscionable. <laughs> and then <laughs> my last <laughs> statement to them, Oppressor New Mom Sumbopa, let's love each other, new unite. Gambian say, Bolendim, the saga niti, saga do new yobu fen, that's no tarde. Let's unite, let's put the interest of the country. We will stand 11 hours, 59 minutes. 59 seconds, the sharp 12 o'clock, we're in the state house, inshallah. Hmm. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi <laughs> <laughs> leader of Gambia Action Party. Thank you for coming to speak to us there about your congress. Um, I was there, that was an impressive con congress. Thank you for coming. So that is uh, Mr. Musa Hussein Yali actually uh, speaking to me there. But before we go, we have a story. Well, books, shops, and stationaries have been going through hard times, you know, the coronavirus pandemic and the uh, shutting down of schools really affected those who deal in books. Uh, we'll bring you that report there by Usman Jada. Over time, reading has taken up various forms. Bookshops have seen a fall in sales because of the invention of e-books. People also prefer to get news updates through various news applications on their phones or laptops. The COVID-19 outbreak could be described as the most devastating pandemic of the 21st century. And since its onset, many businesses have been struggling and the book sector has not been left behind. For bookshops, it's like a total restart for them following the temporal closure of schools in order to curb the spread of the novel coronavirus which came at a time when most people did not expect it. Even before the pandemic, um it has been difficult, you know, on the, um, people reading, you know, and um, most of the young people today don't read because maybe of the uh, thing that they have access to in the media, their phones and the like, you know, so um, the reading population has dropped down drastically and then coming with the COVID makes it worse. They say knowledge is power and there is more knowledge out there waiting to be consumed. Books can be very useful in the life of people as it contributes towards the development of the mind. Reading is something that, that enlarge your, 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 your brain or whatever, you know, thing that your, maybe your brain, yeah, or your memory or your knowledge, you know. So reading helps a lot, whether it's a Christian book, whether it's a novel, it helps you to know a lot of things. So basically, um, that's an encouragement that when you read, you have knowledge, you know, and you get a lot of information. And it will help you socially, you help you academically, you know, so yeah, so that's one of the lessons I have learned. Mr. Johnson normally receives books from the Christian Society. After selling the books, he refunds their money. Usually, he sells one book for $150, while newly ordered books from Europe can cost up to $600. However, bookshops have not been receiving regular customers since the outbreak of COVID-19. Bookshop owners like Mr. Johnson sit from morning till dusk without seeing a single customer. With the pandemic showing no signs of leaving so soon, most bookshop owners are calling on the help of the government as they struggle to manage their businesses. Reporting for the Fatu Network News Review, Osman Jata.